Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. First of all, thank you to everybody. We went over the 9,000 subscriber mark today. I really never thought I, I would, I never really thought I would make it to 10 subscribers. So thank you to everyone. That next stop is uh, 10,000, and that's where we're giving away a brand new USG and a brand new uh, Unify Switch 8 150 watt. And you do not have to be in IT to win. The closer we get to that 10,000 mark, I will start outlining the rules for that contest. Everybody's going to have a shot to win. So, um, once again, thank you to everyone. So, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. You know, we're putting out more content all the time. Uh, starting to do a lot of design and things like that. And tonight, <clears throat> what we're going to talk about is the edge router and firewall rules. I know what you're saying. Yeah, you said you're going to do the follow-up. I am going to do the follow-up to the HD. I'm working on my my background stuff and um, still letting some some comments soak about that, getting some feedback. So uh, tonight we are going to talk about how to block uh, network access from a subnet or a port on an edge router. So you could do uh, use this to do you know to isolate a guest network, to isolate an IoT network, um, anything like that. So let's hop into it real quick. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the um, the screen here and we're going to draw a little bit. So what we've got is right now we've got an edge router X and we're connecting on this IP 192.168.69.1. Now uh, we just use the uh, WAN plus 2 LAN uh, wizard to configure this. Okay? And if you watched one of the last edge router videos that's where this would have come from. So uh, what we've got, we've got our internet right here, and then we've got switch zero, and switch zero is right here. So internet's plugged in here. This is eth zero. This is eth one. This is eth two. And right now, all of these. are in switch zero. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this guy out and we're gonna make him his own network. Now you could do this with a VLAN. We're gonna do it with a physical network so we'll change the description and all that. Then we're gonna look at the rules. I'm gonna show you how to do the rules in the GUI uh, but then I'm also gonna provide a link to a Google Doc that if you just wanna copy and paste all this, change your interfaces and all that then you can make this happen. So what we will do is once we have this guy set up is we will firewall him from the rest of the uh, of the group. So that is kind of the gist of it. I, I couldn't wait too much longer to get the drawing pen back out. You know I uh, I love my Wacom tablet. So um, let's take a look so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to pull this ETH1 out and we're going to create a network on ETH1. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to, if you've configured your switch, we need to configure the switch, go to the VLANs. This is where the switch ports are assigned to switch zero. We're going to uncheck ETH1 and we're going to save that. Okay, ETH1 is now out of uh, switch is zero, so we're going to go ahead and configure this, and we're going to call this. Uh, I'm going to call this one my IoT network, and I'm going to do a manual IP, and we'll do 192.168.69.1. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to services and we're on DHCP. So we're going to add a DHCP server. I'm going to call this IoT DHCP. Can I have a space in there? 
Oh, can't have a space, so we'll put a hyphen in there. It'll be 192, 168, 70.0, and we'll hand out 70.100 through 70. Uh, 150, 192.168.70.1 is the router. We're also probably going to play some DNS tricks at some point, so we will have the edge router also be the DNS server. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that, and we'll just have to go over to our DNS tab and make sure that uh, the router is listening on that. Um, so it is already, ETH1 is listening. So we're good there. Um, had it not been set up to listen, when you came in here, Switch Zero would have been the only interface. So you would have had to um, add ETH1. So you do that and save. So now effectively, what we've got is we've got a network on ETH1. And um, it's not a VLAN. You, Like I said, you could do this with a VLAN on any of these uh, ports, um, but we are using a physical port. So now, Let's take a look at the firewall rules. So the first thing that we're going to do, and I'm going to copy and paste this into a Google document, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a network group called Protect Networks. And these are the networks that we want to protect, and we want to protect all of the internal um, ranges that are available. So let's go over to Firewall NAT, Firewall NAT Groups, and I want to make sure that I am calling it the exact same thing in, uh, let's see, so let's protect networks, and the description is protect the networks, and it is going to be a network group. So now we're going to go ahead and configure this. And we'll make room for all of our networks here. The first one is 192.168.0.0 slash 16. The second is the 172.16.0.0 slash 12. And the last one is the 10.0.0.10.0.0.0 slash 8. Go ahead and save that. And so now we have our protect networks group set up. So now we're going to come over here to our firewall policies. And since we use the wizard, we have our default WAN in, WAN local policies. But we are going to uh, create new policies based on these rules. And we're going to call them block in and block local. So we'll talk about these as we uh, create those. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a rule set, and we'll call this one block in. And if we look back at our configuration, our default rule is or a default blah, 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 blah. our default action will be to accept. So we'll go ahead and now we'll edit this rule set. And the first rule that we are going to um, add is going to be accept, accept established related protocol all. So we'll add a new rule. And what is the description here? Accept established related. Accept established related because the edge router is both stateful and uh, stateless so remember that um, uh, protocol all state established related and so we will go ahead and save that and then we are going to add another rule and we are going to call it um, drop this is going to um, drop our protected networks and so our default action is going to be drop and if we go back to our rule the destination will be 
anything headed towards those protected networks. So we'll go over to destination, uh, destination network group, protected networks. We'll save that. So we've got the accept and then the drop. Then the, the next thing that we actually have to do to this is we have to um, actually assign interfaces to it. So what we want to do is look at which interface we're going to apply this on. And we're going to apply this on ETH1 because that's where the network lives that we want to segregate from the rest of the, um, the, rest of the networks. So we're going to come over to interfaces. It will be ETH1 direction in and save the rule set. So we've got all that. Now we're going to create another one, which will be block local because we don't want anybody on that network accessing any services, any web GUIs, SSH, anything like that on the router. But we do have to allow them to do DNS and DHCP. So we will go ahead and add another rule set. And I'm just going to come over here to make sure that uh, I have a congruency between the, the GUI and uh, what we would copy and paste into the router through an SSH connection. So this is going to be um, block local. And the default action will be to drop. And we're going to call this block local. We'll save that. We'll go ahead and edit this rule set. And the first rule that we're going to add here is going to be action accept, and we're going to accept DNS. So this will be accept DNS. And when you look back here, you'll see that the destination is going to be port 53 UDP. So we'll go ahead and save that. And then our next one is going to be accept DHCP. It should also be UDP. Again, port 67. We'll go ahead and save that. Then we also have to assign this to interfaces. So we're going to come over here. That should be ETH1 local because it is services that are on the router. So we'll go ahead and save that. And so as long as the interfaces and everything took, theoretically, what should happen is um, we should be able to plug into ETH1, get an IP address. So right now, let's see, what's our IP? Uh, 69.38. So we'll plug directly into ETH1. We'll get an IP. We'll see if we can surf the web, but then we'll see if we can get into... Uh, for example, um, we'll see if we can get to like uh, 66.10, which is a, a server internally. So let's see what happens. Okay, we have physically um, switched ports. And the machine's taking just a minute. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we'll manually do it since it doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, so now we've got uh, 70.100. So let's see if we can ping. So you will see that we cannot ping 66.10. I'm actually going to leave that going. Um, let's see if we can get back into this interface on the router. Connecting, connecting, connecting. Whew. OK, 
Okay, so we know that um, we know that our cloud key is 66.5. Nothing, but and there's Google. Um, what else? Um, So you can see internet is perking along just fine, but we cannot get to anything inside that network. So, you know, I'm showing you that this, this ping is going, right? And we're surfing the web, all that good stuff. Um, oh, wow. Flood warning. Um, tenth and a quarter of an inch, tenth and a quarter of an inch, tenth and a quarter of an inch. You know, I'm not trying to be a smart aleck, but uh, good thing... Uh, I think I have a camera on my sump pump area. All right, so let's open another command prompt. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to switch back, and you should see this traffic immediately start working. Maybe not immediately. I'll probably have to do a release renew, whatever. I'm always tinkering with my network connection, so it's it doesn't surprise me that... Uh, got any sort of a, a failure there and so um, you can see that the traffic started you can see we're back on 69.38 and the ping started immediately so uh, I will paste that into a Google Doc and link to it so if you like the video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment please share please use all those affiliate links down there to give a little something to the channel or you know, if uh, you want to give a little donation, that's okay, too. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to be alerted when I release a new video, click that little bell thing that's floating around down there, wherever it is. And we'll see you in the next video.